Hey, what's up guys? This is 32 Garyscape here. And today I'm not going to be doing my average gameplay. Instead, I'm going to be doing something kind of like a GTA 5 talk show type of thing. If you guys enjoy it, then I'll keep on doing them. If you don't enjoy them, give me some input on what I can do better. You know. And today we're going to be doing what misc things do I think would be really cool in GTA 5? Just like miscellaneous things. Like anything anything that i think is pretty cool not involving like missions and stuff just like random crap you know well the first thing i'm going to go ahead and say one thing i think would be pretty cool which one of them's already been said that it's going to be happening which is putting bikes on the back of a bobcat which i mean that'd be pretty cool take it down take it up in the mountains and stuff get out your bike start riding around that'd be pretty cool and it, i think it'd also be kind of cool if you could like load dirt bikes quad bikes, you know, just regular, regular day life, like, whatever you can do in real life, you should be able to do in this. Also, in one of the trailers, there was, I think, what's his name, Michael's son was, like, hanging off of a boat on the back of a truck, so maybe we'll be able to, I don't know, hook up trailers on the back of trucks, pull boats around, that'd be pretty cool, take them down to the docks, take them for a spin. Cause I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to like buy boats at, I don't know what it's called, like just the docks, you know. Be able to keep them there and stuff. Well, the second thing on my list would be ghost cars in abandoned towns. You know, kind of like GTA San Andreas had. Down in the desert, they had like deserted towns and stuff. And there was this one place, and I think it was, I don't know what, what it was like over on the west side of San Andreas. If you went down in the woods or something, like, there was these cars that would chase you through the woods. I wish I could have got one of those and, like, recorded, but it was, it, it's scary. Just, like, something to keep the blood flowing, keep everybody entertained. And also, I was also thinking that maybe, maybe there'd be something kind of like Bigfoot, kind of like, um, Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare had, which was, it, it was kind of cool. They, they did a good job making Bigfoot. And also UFOs, possibly, possibly, like, Make them really hard to see. Just, like, ma make people make mysteries. Kind of like GTA San Andreas. Just make people wonder. Make YouTube videos of it. it it's just, it, it's fun to watch. It's entertaining. Number three on my list would be more gore. Kind of like GTA San Andreas, GTA Vice City. And there was, like, a cheat for GTA 3. If you shot somebody in the head with a sniper rifle, their head would go flying off. I mean, I'm not talking about, like, literally decapitating them, like, on GTA 5, but... Kind of like Undead Nightmare did in Red Dead Redemption, or just regular, like, how, like, if you shot somebody in the head on Red, Undead Nightmare, a zombie anyways, like, their head would blow off. It, it, it blew off, it, I mean, it, it's dark, it's terrible that I think of this, but it, it was just fun, just to blow somebody's head off, it was just fun, having, like, blood squirting everywhere. And, also, rocket launchers, like, shooting them at the ground, just blowing, blowing up, you should be able to, like, if, if you ever get, use the blunderbuss on Undead Nightmare, you'll notice, like, if you shoot somebody, they'll just explode in chunks, which, that was really funny. Or if you put, like, a wrapped-up person on a train, and just, like, set them next to a train track, if they get ran over, they'll go into chunks, kind of like that, if you shoot... Like, I'm not saying use that for the um, rocket launcher, because I like to, like, blow people up with a rocket launcher, just make them go flying. But, like, just have more stuff like this, like, blowing off limbs and stuff. I think that'd be pretty cool. Number four on my list, that would be jetpacks. Jetpacks, they were a big part of San Andreas, and since the military is back, military base is back, why not have a jetpack in it? Have a mission, there's probably going to be a mission that you go in there and steal a jetpack again, probably, if there is a jetpack. And you might be able to even use the jetpack in multiplayer, which, which that would just be crazy. Just flying around in a jetpack, killing people, that'd, be, that'd just be fun. Number five on my list. Now, this one's a big one for me. I've been wondering, the Atomic Blimp. That's what it's called. All right, you get that exclusive for a pre-ordering GTA V, right? And I pre-ordered it, so I'm wondering, where, like, what do I do with it, right? I mean, can I ride it in multiplayer? I'm guess I you have to probably be able to ride it in single player and stuff. But I'm I'm wondering. Would we be able to ride it in multiplayer? If so, that would probably be the coolest thing ever. Just like flying blimps, 
I mean, what would the what 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 would the destruction animation be for that? I mean, that would just be crazy, crashing them into buildings, crashing them into people, crashing planes into blimps. All right, that would just be crazy. That would be awesome. And number six, this would be the AT four hundred seen in San Andreas. It is the Pretty, I'm pretty sure it's the biggest plane that you've ever, you've ever been able to fly in a GTA game. And I'm wondering if like I'm wondering if they're bringing it back. And knowing from this picture of Trevor flying a giant plane, that kind of looks similar to it. But what I'm wondering is, will we be able to like fly it around in multiplayer and stuff? Crash it into the atomic blimp? That would be really cool. Get all your friends into the plane, crash it into a river, crash it into a tree. Yeah, you know, that would just be fun. Just like, just driving around a giant plane across the map. That'd just be awesome. Number seven on my list. That would be customizing cars and weapons, but in multiplayer. Is it possible? That is something I'm wondering, which would be really cool if it was. What I'm thinking is that if it was... They would kind of like, kind of use the Reddit redemption system to where every level, uh, most levels will unlock you a, maybe a different mount, horse, or something like that, or a different, a different gun. Yeah, like, I think it's going to work, work like that. You're going to unlock the cars and stuff and the weapons, but for the customizations to them and like customization, customizations to your character as well, I'm thinking that there is also going to be a currency from killing other players. Where where you're picking up the other person's money and stuff while, while when they die, maybe you don't actually take their money from them, which that would kind of suck. But like kill pedestrians and take their money in multiplayer. I mean that should work just fine if you ask me, which would be sweet. Number eight on my list, and since the map that we're in, this is gonna be a big one. Destructible trees. I know in a lot of previous, in fact, most of the previous GTAs, there has not been any destructible trees to where I'm going to be driving 100 miles an hour in, I don't know, like a big, big SUV. I crash into a tree. It does absolutely nothing to the tree by maybe, I think it puts like a little crack, I think it like puts cracks in it and stuff, but... What it does to me is it catches my car on fire before it would even think about destroying the tree, which is not, that's not right. I, we, since there's going to be a lot more trees in this one, um, I'm pretty sure that there's probably going to be, if you run into a tree hard enough, it's going to fall down. I think that's how it's going to work. And then after so long, it might come back. Well, it has to come back because you don't want somebody going around mowing down the entire forest that would kind of be that would kind of suck because i mean it would yeah it would kind of suck because then there'd be like no trees all right so number nine now this one this one's one of my favorites on it it's one of my favorites all right gta 5 water physics those are going to be great because they're they, they redid the water and GTA 4's water physics were already really good. Like, you take a helicopter, fly it down next to the water, it, like, blow the water around, like, makes indentions in it. Like, it's gonna be really cool in GTA 5. And water always looks good. There's always reflections. The water's gonna be great in GTA 5. Which, I'm hoping that the water physics are just as good as they can be, to where if you drive a helicopter into it, it's going to be awesome. There's going to be, like, big splashes and stuff. You know what I mean. Number 10. This one is very special. This one is for you to decide. This one is not what I think would be cool in GTA 5. This is what you think would be cool in GTA 5. I want you to put down in the comments below what whatever you think would be really cool. And I hope you have enjoyed this. This is my first GTA 5. Let's talk about it, like, I don't know what you would call that, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked it, tell me what you think. Rate, subscribe, whatever you want to do.